Hello, I'm Dave Squids Kersner. Uh, I'm in the IK office right now, IK Multimedia, and I've set up some of my keyboards here. Um, and I'll show you a few of them. I've collected many instruments over the years. So here is a CP70, a Yamaha Electric Grand. Uh, on top of that is a Celeste. Uh, this is a similar instrument. It's a Yamaha EP308. I'm sorry, a Kawai. Uh, it's, uh, it's their version of the Electric Grand. On top of that is a uh, is a clavichord, which is a funky instrument. I don't know why I bought it. It's, it's just a really cool. <laughs> I'm an instrument junkie. Um, over here is an RMI. Uh, this is the keyboard electric electric piano that Tony Banks used in Genesis, and uh, Rick Wakeman used in Yes um, in the early 70s, mid 70s. Uh, an accordion, and this is um, I believe a Honer. Chambolet, uh, and I also have a peanut. This is an ARP Explorer and a Mellotron. Uh, I have several Mellotrons. This, okay, that was the Chambolet because this is the peanut. Now, the peanut was also used by uh, Tony Banks on early Genesis. It was also used uh, on uh, I Am the Walrus uh, by the Beatles. Electric piano, this is a clavinet. Uh, Stevie Wonder used. Um, Vox organs, a Jaguar and a, um, a Jaguar and a uh, Continental, which uh, uh, the Doors used, and many others in the 60s. This is a, uh, a Rhodes, uh, one of several different types of Rhodes that I have. Now this is my original Yamaha keyboard setup, um, an SK30 and a CP35 electric piano and a synth, multi-synth. I had that when I was a kid, and uh, I sold it to a friend of mine, um, Adam Gaynor, who's who was in Matchbox 20, and then many, many years later, he gave it back to me. <laughs> so I got my first keyboard back, set up back. This is a Farfisa, and this is a, a Freeman String Symphonizer. Um, this here is a, uh, this is a Tube Wurlitzer. Um, needs some work, that one. Um, this is an L102 over here. Um, this is a Hammond L102 and Leslie. Um, again, Tony Banks used uh, an L100, L102. Uh, with Genesis and also it's a little, a little spinet organ and um, Keith Emerson used those as well. Um, over here is another Rhodes, a different type. That was a before it was a Mark II. This is a Mark I, and this is a very rare electric piano, very cool looking. Uh, it's a a, a Weltmeister clavisette. I don't know. I, I don't know how I found that one. Um, this is Miroslav Philharmonic, the product that. Uh, I helped create uh, the plugin um, that the recent news with Tony Banks from Genesis. Um, and uh, in here, I guess, is uh, like the lounge area. There's a ping pong table, which is very important. Uh, and this is the IK Multimedia office, though. Um, this is really cool. This is a Honer Electra piano. Um, and this was used by Led Zeppelin on uh, No Quarter and Stairway to Heaven. Um, this over here. <laughs> is an Optagon. Um, I sampled Optagons for um, and Orchestrons and, and uh, Mellotrons and Chamberlains for Neil Finn of Crowded House and Smashing Pumpkins for Billy Corgan. This is another Mellotron. Actually, this is a, a special Mellotron. It's actually um, a MIDI Mellotron, but it's a custom one. Um, so that's the tour of this sort of museum setup that I, I've done here. I have a, a separate studio with um, the ARPs and uh, Profit and, and Minimoog and things I use more regularly. Uh, but some of these some of these need to be fixed, <laughs> uh, like the Hammond, this beautiful thing. Um, I'm, I'm so excited because I'm getting my Hammond C3 fixed. It's not working. Uh, and this is an ARP string ensemble on top, uh, which Supertramp used and all, all sorts of artists use that. It's very popular. It's Pink Floyd. Shine on your crazy diamond starts off with that. Um, so, this is a chord organ, I'm telling you, never ends. And that's, that's like a reed organ with a fan inside. And this is a Leslie. Now, what's cool is IK Multimedia just came out with the official Leslie plugin, or it's coming out now. It's unbelievable. It sounds incredible. Uh, so I can't wait to try that. I can actually try it out with my Hammond, and I have other different keyboard, organ keyboards that you can use, plus samples you can run through it. So anyway, that's my quick tour of some of the keyboards that I have um, in the IK Multimedia Studio.